first and most importantly, when you work with a ghostwriter, you are the author. The ghostwriter helps pull the story out of you and guides you to write the best story, but the story is yours and written in your voice. Not all authors are writers or have the time or inclination to write. So ghostwriters get the story written, but it's the collaboration that it is really awesome. But, you know, it's like you have a table full of scenarios and information. And then I, as the ghostwriter, take the needle and pull the thread through to make the story marketable. Mm -hmm. So the structure holds together. So it speaks mm -hmm. to the reader. It's a mm -hmm. partnership. You know, you're not getting it done without me and I'm not writing it without you is, you know, life is hard. We're talking about the human experience and writing that story, um, it helps you to give meaning and purpose to your experience. It helps you to take that, the healing and learning to another level. And, and it can help others. You know, you have to really want to write that. You have to really want to go through that, you know, experience of, uh, you know, it's one thing to go through something. It's another to do the work it takes to be recognized. It's a way to express your authority, but yet from a personal perspective. So you're not just standing up there giving facts and everything. It's like you're getting people to believe in you because of who you are and your authenticity. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's, you know, you could say it's a softer sell, but it's also more powerful because people say like, yes, I believe in her. Mm -hmm. But I collaborate with women who have risen above life challenges and have yes. a journey to share, who, who feel the journey is worth sharing, you know, like I said, perhaps it gives purpose to your pain or somehow validates your experience. Maybe it helps you connect with others or build community if you, you know, if you want. You know, spiritually also, you may feel a responsibility to share because you believe your experiences can help others. Um, yeah, so that, that's the kind of, those, those are the type of women I work with. I'm, I'm so... I want women to share their stories. It's for women. Now is for women. Seen. There's something in being seen, you know? It's, I mean, coming from a person that never trusted myself, you know, I've done a lot of work and I, I that's not the case anymore, but I struggled for a long time. And to claim who you really are and claim your power, uh, you can do that through through the storytelling. That actually happens, you know? It's like you're saying, I'm claiming my life and I'm claiming myself and claiming who I am and I'm, I'm sharing it with others. And, you know, you also, I think most people really believe that by in doing that, we help other people do the same thing. And that's why I'm for women and women have to share their stories now because I really believe that as a woman, we need to first help ourselves and gather our own strength. But then it's almost like you once you do that, you can't not help other women because that's what's needed. And I mean, for me, it's personal. It's also political. The time is now or it's like to stand up there with our sisters and, and claim our power. That's why I do this. Thank and you, I'm a Julie. and I'm a writer, so I love stories. So I I found the perfect career for myself. I'm very blessed. If you don't mind, I'll share. Um, you know, share some. Maybe you have at least three memoirs that you can that you can maybe share with us today <laughs> that, that you that, that are favorites of yours. Yes. Um, I am a memoir junkie, you know, because I because I write memoirs, I just I read them all the time. I've actually since the summer, I'm on my 24th memoir right now. And um, I think what got me started is um, I read Viola Davis's Finding Me. You know, she just became an EGOT for that book. And, you know, this I have to tell you and, uh, you know, say this to you as a a black woman, a woman of color, and I could cry even just saying this to you. But when I read um, Finding Me, I really understood 
what my privilege was just by having this white skin. I mean, you know, I always heard of that word and everything, but this like, it was in my face. I mean, the um, the poverty, the depths of the poverty, you know, she got out of it, obviously, and she's just such a beacon of light for others, but the depth of poverty that her family went through, and her father was this abusive man who beat the crap out of her mother, like, year after year, and the fact that she actually forgave him was amazing, but just reading her memoir, actually, Actually, it got me started on reading a lot of different memoirs of women of color. I don't want to go into all of them now, but like um, I read uh, Robin Roberts, Jamel Hill was amazing. Corey Bush blew my mind when you take like her life experiences, what she went through, and she actually ended up being a congresswoman. In, in Missouri. Uh, thank you so very much uh, today, because I'm gonna tell you this to you. I'm getting ready to do something for women uh, that's coming up. I'll be talking about women, women uh, writers. Yay! And I'm going to have you, a guest who's going to appear during that time, it'll be, you'll be one of the ones that will be appearing so that I'll be Wonderful. talking to you. I, I will. I'll be talking uh, to female writers, and I, I'm I'm very impressed with you, and I'm so happy to meet you, Gail. And um, wanted to tell you that uh, if, if there was one little, little thing you could say now before we end, because we're at the end of the spotlight at this point, what would you say to women in general, women that you that you could work with? Uh, there'll be some women also that are watching you that, that are part of um, uh, each week. You've seen it each week. I have a post. You know, women with a winner's perception. I will be introducing you more to this group of women and to women in general. And you and I met. You said uh, on whose uh, platform was it? We met, you and I met on um, on Dr. Elizabeth. Is a lot about the Elizabeth. Right. Elizabeth. Lindsay, I believe that's how we met. It was just incredible how our paths crossed. You know, I believe in that. And, I believe in and, 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 she, of, and she she is amazing. I mean, absolutely um, indescribable. She's absolutely every day you go to her, she's got a gift. Dr. Lindsay has a gift to bring to us every single day. That's Gail. But Gail, I'm sorry, day. let me let you just uh, if you would just uh speak to there's some viewers here. If you could briefly, you know, conclude here. Uh, before we end today. Sure. Um, if you are a woman, speak up and speak out. Claim your power. It's so important for women to do that these days. And if I can help you in any way by telling your story, it would be my honor and my gift. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Thank you. Wow. Thank <laughs> you so much. You are amazing. Gail. And thank you so much Likewise. for being here with us today. And uh, looking forward to, like I said, looking forward to presenting you to, to women all over the world. Thank, thank you, Gail. Um, so appreciative. You.